In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve a system of logarithmic equations. The question reads, determine the real solutions of the following system. We have y is equal to log 3x plus 1 minus 5, and y is equal to log x minus 2 and minus 4. The good thing about these two equations is that we have y isolated in both situations. We have y is equal to here and the same case for the other equation, which means that we can set the two y's equal to each other. So pretend we set y equal to y, and this y represents that one. We have log 3x plus 1 minus 5 is equal to, and this y is set as log x minus 2 minus 4. From here, I want to group together the log terms. So I have a term here and a term here. I want them exclusively on one side and the numbers on the other side. So this constant will go to the right and that will go to the left because eventually we want to use the rules of logarithms to combine those log terms. I have log 3x plus 1 minus log x minus 2 is equal to minus 4 plus 5. That simplifies down to positive 1. Because these are both logs of the base 10, they're both common logs, the base isn't written, so it's assumed to be 10, we can combine them using one of the rules, which tells us that if we have two logs being subtracted of the same base, you can write them down as a quotient. So log 3x plus 1, this part, divided by that part. I need to isolate for x, and to do that, this log needs to go away. To get rid of this log, we raise both sides of this equation as powers to the base 10. So this becomes the exponent, that becomes the exponent, and only then will this 10 and this log cancel out, giving us 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 is equal to 10 to the power of 1, which is 10. To isolate for x, I'll multiply both sides by x minus 2. And I end up with x minus 2 times 3x plus 1. And on the right side, I'll expand this to 10x minus 20. I suspect that I'll be getting a quadratic from here because multiplying these out gives me a quadratic. I get 3x squared, x times 3x. x times 1 is plus x, negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x, and negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 is equal to 10x minus 20. From here, I'll group together all the like terms. That and that, I get 3x squared plus x minus 6x minus 10x minus 2 plus 20 is equal to 0. I'll highlight the like terms now and these two. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. Negative 5 minus 10 is negative 15. So 3x squared minus 15x, and these two is positive 18 is equal to 0. I end up with a quadratic, and luckily, you can actually common factor a 3 from all of these. 3 bracket x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Dividing both sides by 3 gets rid of that leading 3. And your quadratic is actually factorable through trial and error. What two numbers multiply to 6 and add to negative 5? I believe the correct combination is negative 3 and negative 2. So x minus 3, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to positive 3 and x is equal to positive 2. Now just because you found x values doesn't mean that they will end up being one of the solutions to the system. Let me just write these down. So one of our potential points of intersection is at 3 and some unknown y value, and another point is at 2 and some other y value. Let's substitute 3 and 2 into one of these equations. Let's choose this one for simplicity. Substituting 3 into x, using my calculator, I get log 3 minus 2 is 1, minus 4. I get negative 4. If I substitute 2, into this x, I get log at 0. And the restriction is that this part has to be greater than 0. Therefore, this can't be a point. And it's very important for you to check both of the equations or even find the domain right from the beginning. This is why it's very important to check 
the x values that you find, for example, in both of the equations that you're trying to solve. Because if you were to substitute 2 into here, you get 3 times 2, and that's 6 plus 1 is 7. It actually works here, but it does not work here. Therefore, the only point of intersection for this system is the one that I'm putting a box around. And there you have it. That is how to solve a system of logarithmic equations.